Okay, we got absolutely nothing on us. <sighs> yep, this is going to be a promising start. And there's a bloody wolf. I know, I see you guys, all of you, okay? I just want to know, can you get me in here? I sincerely hope you cannot. Alright, gonna grab the wires, gonna grab the scrap metal. Yeah, we are off to a great start. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully I don't lose too much health in here, because I have a sneaking feeling we might be here for a while. Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. No. Well, hey, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, and today we are back in the long dark. Yes, it is finally spring. Winter is gone. The clocks have changed. The snow is all melted. And I am absolutely 100% ready to go back to the long dark. Now, the last time we played, we did the Naked and Afraid Challenge, and our goal was, you know, basically just to make 30 days, and we pretty much made it to day, what, 70-something? And then, yeah, I just completely screwed up, I was out of practice, I made one dumb decision, and it absolutely killed us. And yeah, if you saw that last episode of that last series, all I had to do was actually go inside and rest up inside Signal Hill in the bed, and we would have been fine. So yeah, I just, I got hyper-focused on, I had to be outside the fire barrel because the cabin fever thing was going on, and basically that's what happens to you in the long dark. You get tunnel vision about this one thing you've got to do, and it ends up absolutely biting you in the But yeah, that series actually made it, you know, 20 plus episodes, I think, so it was a good full series, even though we didn't quite make the 100 days. But yeah, we had a good full series of that, and I wanted to do something a little bit different for this one. So it basically came down to either doing the, like, Dark Walker challenge. Now, I did do the Dark Walker years ago when it first came out, but I haven't actually tried it since they added the entire, like, uh, endgame thing where you can actually beat the guy. So I was thinking that... Hi, baby. I love you. Yes, I absolutely love you. Anyway, as I was saying, I think that is a thing that I want to do a dry run of before I actually commit to doing it on camera as an actual full series. So that is a thing that's going to happen in the future, but it's not going to actually happen today. Today what we're going to be doing is a primitive skills challenge. Now the idea behind this is actually fairly similar to the like full naked challenge. We're going to spawn on a random map on the original Great Bear Island, and we are immediately going to drop all of our clothing and take off naked. Now, the biggest differences are going to be that in this particular challenge, we can only rely on, well, essentially, primitive skills. Which means no rifles, no pistols, and no clothing that I don't craft myself. The only way we're going to be able to kill animals is if I use, like, a knife or a hatchet that I'm actually holding in my hands, or if I have a bow and an arrow. And I am going to be allowed clothing, however, I have to actually craft it myself. Which means no pre-made clothing, no nothing. I think I will actually allow myself to make the like the head wrap and the hand wraps because those are basically handcrafted from scraps. But yeah, that's literally the only clothing you can make unless you have animal hides, which means we're going to be doing a whole lot of hunting and this time it's going to have to be up close and personal. So yeah, I think rather than shooting for like X number of days survived, the goal for this series is going to be to get fully kitted out in animal clothing from head to toe. So yeah, let's get this show on the road. Correct, we are somewhere near the bear spawn and the containers down by the lake. Die if I don't warm up soon. Again, Dave, you're perfectly fine. Oh, shit, I saw. 
Hello, Mr. Bear. Goodbye, Mr. Bear. <laughs> I think we might be in a wee bit of trouble. Okay, well, that went well. If I am where I think I am, and I think I am where I think I am. Okay, you're eating a rabbit, which is perfect. Yeah, we should actually be able to get out of here. Whoa, or not. <laughs> okay, Mr. The Wolf, how about you don't follow me up here? Please don't follow me up here. Yeah, you go that way. I'm gonna go this way. I know, blah, 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 yada, 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 wonk, wonk, wonk. Uh, yeah, if I could sprint, please, that would be brilliant. I know, I can hear you back there, dude. I know you're coming after me. Okay, you know what? Just stay over there and don't pay any attention to me at all, please. I can feel my feet. Dave, I hope you can feel your feet, because we need you to get your feet a-moving. Okay, hold that thought. We've got a friggin' cave we can hide in for a minute. Okay, I can hear you growling out there, dude. Just, for the love of God, go away. Go away. Go away. I mean, I literally cannot stay in here forever. I've got to get going at some point myself. Okay, yeah, go away. Go away, that's right. Howl of frustration, that's fine. Now just wander off. I've never felt so cold in my life. Dave, I don't know how to break this to you, buddy. You have got much bigger problems right now. I don't know if you noticed the weather, but that is also going a bit crap. Oh, you can actually follow me in here, can you? Okay, we got absolutely nothing on us. <sighs> yep, this is going to be a promising start. And there's a bloody wolf. I know, I see you guys, all of you, okay? I just want to know, can you get me in here? I sincerely hope you cannot. Alright, gonna grab the wires, gonna grab the scrap metal. Yeah, we are off to a great start. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully I don't lose too much health in here, because I have a sneaking feeling we might be here for a while. Hold on, let's see if we can figure out where everybody is, because I see a couple of rocks out there. Can I grab that? Can I equip myself with that, please? And can I maybe, just maybe, throw it at you? Or scare you off, you know what? I'll take that as well. Okay, you guys whimper your way off that way. Oh, crap. Back inside, Digby, back inside. Shoot, that's not the front door. That's the front door. Okay, how much sprint have I got? Because I have a sneaking feeling we are just going to have to run for it and hope. Okay, are you gone now? No, you're not. You know what? Here. Have a rock. Does not care about the rock at all now. Go away, dude. I need to get out of here. Sawed off. Leave. Be gone. I mean, it's clear that way. Oh, hang on. Is there a car outside of this place? I can't remember. Can't feel my hands. Dave, you got bigger problems right now, dude. Just chillax. Okay, I do know there's a truck up behind here. Ah, Alright, well, time to answer the age-old question. Can we run faster than a wolf? Car, yes, please. Thank you. Yeah, 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 get wrecked. Alright, what do we got in here? Hope I can still eat this. Energy bar is good. Nothing under the sun visors. I don't see anything behind me. But we can check the back seat really quick. Okay, nothing in the back seat either. Now, he's still right there, so I'm gonna wait for him to walk off. And then we're gonna head for town as quickly as our little legs will carry us. Okay, he appears to be out of range. Really, really wish I could get into the store. Oh, you know what? We can go up on the hilltop to the uh, ranger's place. 
That might be a good thing to do. Or not. Oh crap. Okay. More wolves. Um, Dave, what are you stuck on, dude? Can we, uh... Why can I not climb this hilltop a little bit? Okay, what the hell just happened? Alright, well, we got blood loss, laceration, strained wrist, and bruising. Brilliant. Alright, now, question becomes, are we gonna die before we get to the ranger station? We're gonna bleed out soon. Yeah, I know, Dave. That's why we're running. We gotta run up this hill as quickly as possible. Hopefully craft a bandage, and if that wolf catches us from behind, we're gonna be dead in the doornail. Okay, game, I need either a piece of cloth or a bandage. I will take either one. Hello, dead guy. You don't happen to have a bandage on you, do you? Um, dude, tell me you got a bandage. I need a bandage really quick. I have no bandage. And I don't see any cloth. Crabgrass. Alright, well, let's, uh... Well, hold on, do I actually have one on me? I don't think I do. I do not. Alright, well, let's check the doors real quick and hope. That'll come in handy. Whatever game, I don't care. I just really need a piece of cloth of some description. Uh, nope, you know what? We might have to try and break this thing down. Let's take it. Let's see if we can hack it up. Uh, yes, please. Actions. Harvest it. Please do it quickly. Feeling faint. Not gonna make it. Okay, first aid. Craft. Bandage, there's no way I'm gonna make it. Okay, we're gonna start on Stalker, as we always do. We're gonna go for the Lower Great Bear, yes please. We'll take a nice random map, because we love random maps. Hopefully we get a good spawn. Uh, Dave, yeah we want Dave for sure. Unfortunately, though, the only skills Dave is going to have are primitive skills. So let's call this one primitive skills. Whoops, that's not how you spell skills, Digby. <sighs> okay, we're off. Okay, no list of things to be done. The day providential to itself. The hour. There is no later. This is later. All things of grace and beauty, such that one holds them to one's heart, have a common provenance in pain, their birth in grief and ashes. Cormac McCarthy, from that light-hearted up-tempo read... The road. Alright, we're on a map. Now, let's uh, start with getting our kit off. So yeah, drop that, drop that, drop the boots, drop the socks, drop the long johns, drop trow. Alright, now let's see if we can figure out where the hell we are. I see waterfalls, that is not a good sign. Um, okay, well we are a long ways up wherever we are. Oh, here's a thought. How about we go actually see where this says it's going to take us? Lee Pleasant Valley. Well, hold on, then. I might not be against a Pleasant Valley start. Okay, we don't need that. We don't need that. Definitely take all the coal we can get. Now, I don't actually have any light, do I? Okay, yeah, you know what? I'm game for Pleasant Valley. I mean, this is where we died in the first series, so we might as well just get it over with now. And quite frankly, all we gotta do is find a place to be. I'm trying to think where we are in relation to everything else. Okay, that looks like... Yeah, there's the bridge, there's the town. So all we gotta do is get down off of this stupid hill, and we should have plenty of houses to hit. Hopefully I don't regret this, but I think we're going to go for the wreck center first. Like I said, I know there's wolves that patrol this river, 
And I did just hear a howl off in the distance again. But I don't see anybody right around here, so... Fingers crossed, we can actually get in there. Find some food. Find some cloth so we can make... Actually, what do I have on me? Do I have bandages and all that stuff, or no? I don't. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need to make bandages and basic first aid stuff. If we can find a knife or a hatchet, I wouldn't say no to those either. Alright, yeah, we'll basically do this little bit here. Then we'll run over to the store. And then we'll do a bit of an evaluation and see where we stand. Now in the last series, we actually found a thermos in here, so are we gonna get lucky again? Holy crap, we got lucky again. Yes, please, I will take that thermos. Okay, now that's the church, that's the rec center, that's where we want to be. Let's get inside and see if we can't ditch this stupid frostbite risk. Dear, don't ever do that again. You just scared the ever-loving crap out of me. Ah, freaking wildlife. Okay, lighter fluid will take... Office we've got. Rifle ammunition we don't need. Okay, nothing. Papers. Oh, you know what? Actually, we're gonna need those because I'm pretty sure we're gonna need to make some tinder. Hello, game. Thank you. Took you bloody long enough. Alright, now, next drawer. Well, here's that too, dude. We put the flare away before you accidentally set it off. Alright, nothing in there. Big fat nothing in there. Big fat nothing in there. More nothing. More nothing. Oh, thank you, game. Thank you very much. Alright, let's hit the bathroom, see what's going on in here. Because we're definitely going to want some water. Yeah, I'll take all of that. And I'll take this book. Where's the good stuff? I was just asking myself that, Dave. Okay, we got sewing kit, a couple of bandages, nothing else in here, wool socks, not a help, firewood, definitely a help. Pretty sure there's probably nothing up on the stage, but we will go check. Oh, you know what? Tools I'll actually take. We'll look in the container. This stuff will come in handy. No, they will not, Dave. No, they will not. Okay, there's nothing in here, right? Yeah, there's nothing in there. All right, now, let's go check the trunk. Nothing in the trunk. How about the container? Nothing in the container. Are we sure we are not playing on interloper here? Okay, nothing on the table. We got an energy bar I'll definitely have. Backpack we can go through really quick. Is it food or...? No, well, I mean, technically it's food. It's not as good as, say, potatoes and carrots, though. Oh. And salt, thank you. Uh, I should probably actually... Yeah, let's see what kind of heat bonus we're going to get out of this. Feels like five, we want bonus five, that's not going to help too much. We might as well just suck it up, buttercup. Okay, microwave, nothing. Kitchen drawers. Papers, we'll take. Nothing. 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 More and more nothing. Prime pan, though. I'll definitely take that. Okay, how about you, drawers? Nope. 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 I wonder who owns this stuff. Well, you do at the moment, Dave. Yours is the only opinion that matters. Okay, a whole lot of nothing in there. Pills I'll take. Whoop, no. I want to do that. Thank you. I want the Zap Energy Bar. I want... Beef jerky, definitely. We'll take the water. Okay, anything in here? No. Yeah, I cannot believe. Oh, cloth. Thank you. As I was saying, yeah, I can't actually believe I'll need this eventually. how few things are actually here. Alright, let's just finish this up really quick. And Donata. Now, that's the back door, so we don't want to do that. Okay, well... Let's, uh, really quick. Yeah, I know, frostbite risk. Don't worry, I'm fully aware it's a thing. Oh, hold on, can I, uh... I gotta go to crafting here, don't I? 
Yeah, can I craft hand wraps? No. Head wraps? No. What is imp Oh, improvised insulation is for your uh, backpacks and stuff. Okay, well, that was a bit of a fail, and I really was kind of hoping we could find either a hatchet or a knife so we could start, like, scrapping uh, curtains and things. All right, you know what? I think before we explore the rest of the village, what we're going to do is we are going to run across the street, and we are going to go to the little store. Because, I mean, if nothing else, there is going to be a metric ton of food in there. Okay, hello, little store. Tell me you've got some goodies for me. Uh, yep, we got soda. So, yes, please. Can I work my way around the corner? Oh, energy drink, too. Thank you. I'll grab the beef jerky. And over here we've got granola bar. Definitely going to be handy. We've got... Uh, you know what? River oats is going to be fine. Definitely want all the newsprint. What we got in here? We got a soda. I don't see anything else in there. Okay, nothing else in there. We'll take... No, nope, we don't need stump remover. Lantern fuel we will definitely take. Oh, shoot. Hold on. That book is a gun book. Uh, yeah. Drop that. Don't need it. Okay, we got some spray paint. Whole lot of nothing. Behind the register. Looks like more nothing. We'll definitely take a potato. Alright, we got anything good in here? No. Locked. Locked. Not locked. Ah, thank God for that. Okay, we got coffee. Wilderness Kitchen cooking book will definitely take. Nothing in there. I think I can use this. No, no, you cannot. We're not going to leave the store from that direction. We're going to leave in the opposite direction. Okay, yeah, I want to search the drawers, please. Okay, we'll take the potatoes. Any more potatoes, please? I could definitely use some more potatoes. You know what? I'll take a metric ton of carrots. Okay, well, we are going to get frostbitten here very shortly, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to head for the farmhouse, which is one of the few places in friggin' TLD where you can be naked and still warm. So yeah, we are going to make a beeline for the farmhouse, we are going to get ourselves in, and that is probably going to end up being where we end this episode. but you know what? I think I can probably outrun them to the front door. As long as there's no bear out here, we should be okay. Yeah, you guys don't smell me. I don't have anything on me. It's all good. It's all good. It is all good. Okay, we're here. And we got hit in the face with the door because, of course, why not? Alright, definitely want that cloth. Okay, we're inside. We're starting to warm up. So, let's holster the flare. Really quick, we'll have a quick search. Okay, we'll take the carrot, we'll take the carrot, we'll take that. Grab the notes. I kind of collect those for, you know, reasons. Okay, lantern's definitely a thing. Could end up being useful. Oh, it's going to end up being seriously useful, Dave, because we are going to end up doing a fair bit of cooking, I think, before we leave here. Okay, dog food, yes. Crackers, definitely. Let's look through the cabinet, see what's in there. Matches I will take. Peaches I will take. Potatoes I will take. Take that potato as well. Okay, nothing. 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 Nothing up there. Oh, thought it was a cooking pot up there for a second. Oh, you know what? I see a cooking pot right here. Now that means we should have both the frying pan and the cook pot, yes? Yes, indeed we do. Okay, this is actually a pretty promising beginning. Well, real quick, we'll go through the fridge. Nothing in there. There's one of my frostbite risks gone away. 
Okay, no can opener on the shelf. Nothing up on there. We'll definitely take all the water you got. Because in the early game especially, the more water the merrier. Okay, sewing kit. Yes, please. Socks I don't need. Okay, nothing in there. Nothing in there. I was kind of hoping we might get a stim. What have we here? We have a recycle can I don't need. I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up with a bunch of those when it's all said and done. Okay, nothing under there. This is usually clothing over here, and we don't need any of that. Okay, how about the cabinet? Nope, no clothing, thank you. Okay, definitely take more firewood, definitely grab the matches. Too much stuff to carry. Oh, Dave, for God's sakes, really? You're already complaining about the bloody weight? Uh, it's fine, actually, because we're going to ditch quite a bit of it before we leave here. Okay, we'll take that cloth. Maple syrup. There's my can opener. I have that. Okay, nothing else really good in here. Alright, what do we got in the office? We got more newsprint. Yes, please. We got a cup of coffee I will definitely take. Chips I'll definitely take. Nothing over there. I actually don't need that many books, so I think I'll stop picking those up. Alright, nothing there. First aid kit has... Hope nobody needs this anymore. Ah, oh, Dave, I have a sneaking feeling you are eventually going to need it. Alright, anything in the drawer? Nothing, honey. Okay, what about these drawers? whole lot of nothing. I think I actually picked up a toolkit at one point, didn't I? I did. Okay, so we don't need a toolkit. I'll be hungry later. I'm actually kind of surprised, Dave, you're not hungry now. Okay, more newsprint. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to make a metric ton of tinder. Oh, here's a thought, too. While we're warming up anyway, how about we scrap a couple of these curtains really quick before it gets dark. Alright, that should be enough to be able to craft myself some hand wraps. And an improvised head wrap. Oh, that is so much better. Okay, now, Dave, get these things on, and that might help a little bit with the frostbite risk. I mean, it's not going to help a whole lot, obviously, but it might help a little. Okay, how much actual lantern fluid do I have in this thing? 0 0.16. Okay, that is not good. But it should be enough to enable us to finish the search. So, nothing. Nothing. Sardines, which might as well be nothing. Bullets we don't need. I saw mittens over there. We don't need those either. Okay, sewing primer. Yes, that's definitely going to be a thing that we want. All right, now, this bathroom. We've got Donata. Don't need the water. I'm pretty sure I've got enough of that for now. Okay, more pills. Antiseptic. We're going to end up dropping and leaving here when we go. All right, nothing else in there. Pretty sure this container is pretty much always empty. Take nope, this staying corrected, there's chips. Okay, anything in the drawer? Nothing in the drawer. Alright, master bedroom, what do you got? Nada. Tea, okay, we'll definitely take tea. Especially now that we have a thermos. No, wrong, I want to search the drawer. There you go, perfect. Okay, nothing on there. More newsprint, that's fine. Alright, is there a gun under the bed? There is not. I'm actually a little bit glad about that, because that would have been incredibly depressing. Okay, we should have just enough time to finish this up. Nothing in there. Oh, hello, I think I see another flare. Definitely want that. Okay, that drawer is empty. There's some beef jerky. Um, okay, anything in here? That would be a no. Nothing under the bed. One last look through the drawer, and I don't know why I'm bothering, because we're not going to take That'll any clothing. No, it's not going to come in handy at all. Okay, room is searched. Let's get in here, get in front of our bed. Let's turn this off really quick. 
Okay, we are finally out of everything related to newsprint. So, how many Tinder did we end up with? We ended up with 20 of them. You know what? That should be plenty. Alright, now, really quick, let's uh, have a drink. Get that sorted out. Now, what do I have for food I can eat? Actually, do I need food? And yeah, we're at a, I was going to say a quarter of a tank. You know what I mean. We're at a one quarter hunger bar. So yeah, we'll actually eat, I think we'll go for the ketchup chips. Then we'll have a couple of zap energy bars. And that should pretty much finish us off. All right, zap energy, yes please. Oh, actually, you know what? The dog food's at 49%. So how about we eat that now? And that will give us the can I was talking about earlier. So yeah, we'll chuck the dog food down our neck. We'll polish off our drink one more time. And then I think we are going to be ready to get some sleep. So yeah, next episode we are going to have to actually make a pretty big decision because if we go up to the top of Timberwolf Mountain, we can actually get our hands on a bunch of furs right off the bat. Now, I don't think we're going to get enough that we could, you know, like make clothing immediately. However, there will be quite a few up there and they will already be cured. Now, the other option I'm thinking we've got is to, well, basically make a beeline directly for Desolation Point, because that map not only has a bow and arrows on it, it also has the forge where we can make a bunch of arrowheads and pretty much, well, basically leave there 100% armed to the teeth. So yeah, lots of pondering to do before the next episode. And on that contemplative note, as always, I've been Digby. I thank you guys for stopping by. I really hope you guys enjoyed getting back into Long Dark, and this episode in particular, given that it started with a couple of, you know, pretty spectacular fiascos. And yeah, I hope to see you for the next one. Oh, yeah.